Hello, I'm Dr. Ming Wang, and I'm here to tell a story. And through the story, I want to ask one of the life's greatest questions. Are faith and science friends or foes? Sixteen years ago, we were conducting corneal wound healing research and found that in contrast to an adult eye which scars after injury, resulting in the loss of sight, a fetus can actually heal without scar. Understanding how a fetus can heal without scar offered the intriguing opportunity to help us figure out how an adult eye can also heal without scar, therefore preserving sight. But here, science and faith clashes with each other. Faith dictates that we should leave the embryo and the fetus alone and should not conduct such research. In contrast, science says we should. If we follow our faith and do not conduct such research, then how can we face the patients who are suffering from illnesses for which stem cell and fetal wound healing research may present the only hope for treatment? As an eye doctor, I really want to help my patients restore their sight. But I was also struggling with my moral conscience and faith. How can I take life away from an unborn child? We agonized over this dilemma, to the point that we were at our wit's end, and I nearly gave up on the whole fetal wound healing research project. There just seems to be no solution at all. I needed to know that it was going to be a long and arduous journey, that the right solution is often the most difficult one. We began looking at this problem from different angles and perspectives and stumbled upon the amniotic sac, a casing which holds the baby before the baby is born and is disposed of after the child is born. We ask ourselves the question is, is it possible the amniotic membrane may in fact contain the ingredient of scarless fetal wound healing process. So when this membrane is transplanted onto an adult eye, that, that it can create a fetus-like environment and to encourage the adult eye underneath the membrane to heal without scar, just like in the fetus. Excited at this possibility, we began a series of experiments. I obtained the amniotic membrane from mothers who, after birth of their children, donated the amniotic sacs, and I transplanted this amniotic membrane onto injured eyes. We published the first paper in scientific literature that demonstrated laboratory success of reduction of corneal scar with amniotic membrane transplantation. and elucidated its molecular mechanism, why it worked. We invented amniotic membrane contact lens, obtained two US patents, and started product development. Finally, after 16 years, we succeeded. A Nashville doctor is introducing new technology he says can do more than help patients see, it can actually hear. Dr. Min Wang says he has developed a procedure using amniotic membranes to clarify vision and reduce scar tissue. Using amniotic membrane, we create a contact lens and we cover the eye surface, recreate a fetus-like environment to encourage a adult body to heal. The cornea, which would not heal uh, for over six months with all other kind of medications, with this, it has healed completely. Dr. Wang researched the project for 16 years before treating a patient. The amniotic sacs are donated by mothers after they give birth. So the magical thing happened after we removed these membrane two weeks later, instead of seeing, you know, for injured eyes, instead of seeing a scarred blind eye, mm -hmm. we saw clear vision eye with vision. Wow. 
That's pretty amazing. Tonight, an amazing story that reads like a medical miracle. Matt Higgins was just four years old when he was diagnosed with Stevens-Johnson syndrome, a severe infection that took away his sight and could have killed him. For the last 13 years, Matt has been legally blind. But yesterday, he defied the odds once again. And health reporter Terry Merriman was there to witness it all. Terry? Demetria, Matt Higgins has spent 13 years of his life with scarred corneas, able to see only hints of light and image. Dr. Ming Wang has spent 15 years of his life researching an unborn child's ability to heal without scarring. Well, yesterday, two people who had been working toward an important goal realized miracles do happen. A person who influenced oh, great. my wife in my late teens. Matt Higgins and Dr. Ming Wang have waited six years for this moment. I think this is the most amazing thing that all the research or the work eventually you find that actually can really make a big difference in patient's life. You know, I've never seen his cornea this clear. Matt was too young for reconstructive and surgery on his scarred you know, corneas so well when he first well came to see Dr. Wang, but last week the time was right for the final step, helping Matt's eyes heal themselves. Dr. Wang performed corneal stem cell transplants stem using cell. tissue from an adult donor and an amniotic membrane transplant using tissue donated from a newborn. And I call this type of technique tapping fountain of youth. You kind of take advantage of uh, the youth for healing ability and use a piece of tissue, in this case amniotic membrane, which is always discarded after cesarean section, then transplant back to adult eye and heal the eye. An unborn child has scarless fetal healing ability. This membrane converts the same healing ability to Matt's eyes. Uh, you know, between science research and our faith and uh, moral principles, there are opportunities like this you can, you know, satisfy both. Don't have to be afraid. The now, Matt to must eye learn eye to see again, so learning to feel light on his kind of eyes. He's making great nice progress. People wonder if that miracles ever happen, and they have, they do. For so long, he's been beside me afraid to branch out on his own almost. And now that he can see, he'll probably fly the coop. Well, maybe he's not ready for flying the coop, but Matt does want to get his learner's permit to drive as soon as the doctor says it's okay. Amazing story. Dr. Wang has used the same technology to develop an amniotic membrane contact lens. It can be transplanted shortly after cornea trauma to prevent scarring. Today, eye doctors throughout the world use the amniotic membrane contact lens to cover injured eyes, to reduce scar, and to restore sight. Countless number of patients have benefited from this new technology and had their sight restored. Amniotic membrane contact lens is a powerful example which shows that, in fact, faith and science can indeed work together. Through the study and use of amniotic membrane, we gained a better understanding of this scarless fetal wound healing process, which benefited adult eyes and helped restore sight. All these without touching any part of the unborn child. My name is Ming Wang, and I do believe that not only faith and science are compatible and can work together, but also it is through uniting them rather than splitting can we actually find a new, unexpected, and more powerful solutions to the problems in our lives?